Yeah. So these are the business processes. These are the business processes which we we were discussing, and these are in, in incorporated in SAP. And uh, these are distributed in various modules to. Uh, just give me a second. So these are the uh, various business processes which which you will find in your SAP system. Okay, so yesterday we were here. We were discussing about this planning part. So this uh, we, we discussed about the business uh, plan, then product management, supply chain planning. We were discussing. So once your master data is set up for your products. Once your master data is set up for the product, then you can start your demand prediction. Okay, you will create your demand plan that how how much quantity is needed uh, at what time. Okay, so that we will predict in demand planning. After that, uh, once demand planning is done, we will start with our supply planning. You can do it in ECC as well as in APO for critical products and uh, finished goods. We do it in APO. Okay, once it is done, then we prepare our uh, inventory also. But if that inventory is sufficient to fulfill the requirements raised by customers. Based on that, we manage our inventory. Okay, along with this, uh, we also have to, the business, they also have to do branding, marketing of that product promotions. Uh, that uh, so that their sales uh, will yep. increase. Well, so, can you maximize it? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So here, branding part they will do. They will do ads, uh, promotions. Advertisement promotion, they will do they will do the branding and marketing. They will uh, launch new new offers. Okay, so they just I mean the more motive of this branding and marketing is to increase their sales, increase increase the I mean they want uh, they they want to market they want to become the market leader. Okay, for that product. So they will do this marketing and branding part. Once this planning, so overall, if I have to say overall, this planning part, this planning component is to predict the demand, okay? Which we will do in our SCM APO system. Okay, once you oh, predict have, the demand. What is this promotions you're talking about? Promotion, I mean, uh, promotion you will do for your product, right? Advertisement, marketing, promotions. But what is the use of promotion data? I heard some terms like from using promotion data and forecasting. Something. Promotion data, see, see, yeah, yeah. So promotion data, see. Promotion is like this. Uh, you may heard uh, this type of things. Buy two, get two free, right? Uh -huh. Buy one, get one free. This type of, uh, this type of terms or words you might hear 50% of 10% of right uh, uh, are you are aware right where uh, in sale in sale you might heard this one 50% uh -huh. of 5% of 10% of buy one get one free so these are promotions okay buy one get one free it means that when selling one product you have to you have to give another product so in that way you have to plan your uh, plan your uh, demand uh, demands okay that for this in december month there will be some sale okay in sale what we will do we will give on purchase of two car we will give one extra car okay so what will happen let's say if if uh, let's say that company predicted that 2000 car we will sell 
in December month during the festive season. During Christmas, there will be festive season, and uh, they predicted that okay, two thousand car we we will sell, and we are we, so and this car is new since so uh, this car is new, so we will give promotion also. It means on purchase of two cars, we will we will give you another car. This type of uh, advertisement you might uh, you might have heard, right? So in that case, what happened? You predicted uh, you you are selling two cars, but you are giving another another extra car. So in this way, you have to plan your your demand your your inventory. So two thousand car you manufactured, and you will give then one thousand extra car because of that uh, because of that festive season uh, on on account of that festive season because there will be sale in December. Okay, so in that case, you have to manufacture three thousand cars in December. Correct? Mm -hmm. No, are you getting or not, or is it confusing? Yeah, yeah. we need to manufacture three thousand cars because we are yeah. uh, going to give one car free. No. Mm -hmm. We are giving one car free. So in that case, I mean, we have to we have to keep our inventory uh, to three thousand for December month, right? So that is promotion here in APO. Actually, uh, uh, we we used to have one key figure. Let me show you quickly how it will look. So promotions will have an influence on demand. You're saying, no? Obviously, yes, 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 yes. So how that is managed in? So do you uh, have? Yeah. Data yeah. coming from other any system? No, 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 no. That is that is based on uh, uh, this. They the demand planner. They used to maintain the data. That is manual data which they have to enter because promotion is not something we have to give every month for next thirty six months. It is for some reason, right? Either you you will give it in the start, a uh, start or in the while the in the launching phase of that product. When you launch that product. Then you will do, or during sale you will do, or during uh, festive season you will do those type of uh, buy one get one free. We cannot do it every time. Okay, so I think here we can see. <coughs> see here. Okay, you can see promotion one, promotion two. What? How we will use? See these fields. This total forecast it will get calculated via our jobs via the formulas provided by SAP. SAP already provided many formulas, so this for total forecast will get calculated. Now here you can see promotion one, promotion two. Here we have two, but ideally I I saw everyone uh, there is only one or uh, one key figure promotion. Okay, so what they have to do here? This total forecast is your demand. Okay. This is your total for uh, uh, total demand that in this month. This much of quantity we have to manufacture this much of quantity in this month. So planner, they will add some quantities here based on their assumption. They they <coughs> they will add some quantities there. OK, so what it will do, it will to it will just add it in the total demand plan. So it's like this here. OK, so here forecast. Then we have promotion. And this is total demand. OK. Both are these demand only forecast, which we predicted. So 300. Uh, next month also 300 then 400 and this is 500 and so on okay and uh, the organization they they uh, told that okay in this month let's assume this is december 2023 they decided that they will give promotion uh, uh, pro they will do promotion for those products okay so it's like buy four 
get one free so in that case what we have to do in promotion how much quantity we should put our forecast our prediction is this and we are doing promotion buy for get one free so how much quantity we should fill here then 100 right here if we put 800 thousand so they they want to do promotion in this month also am i audible right, right, right. Uh -huh. yeah so uh, they they said that okay in feb month also so this is december Okay, so they said that on in Feb and March month also we will do uh, this. We will do this same um, uh, same promotion. Okay, so in that case, what should be the promotion quantity? What what should be the extra quantity they have to uh, produce or manufacture? Two hundred. Two hundred here. Okay, and in this case, only uh, sorry, one thousand. So in this case. 250 right so mm -hmm. and okay in based on that what should be our total demand so in this month 300 here 300 but in this month they have to manufacture 500 because uh, in uh, because of increase in quantity okay 500 here 1000 and in this month 1250 okay so promotion, uh, as per my experience, what I saw, they used to maintain it manually based on uh, the business. They maintain based on uh, based on alignment with it with the customers. Okay. They based on prediction only that okay uh, our car sale increase in this month, so we will increase it more during this festive season. Okay, so we have one topic also on promotion, so we will cover but, there. Uh, uh, system is one question I have. The sales is you are saying forecast. No forecast is done based on sales history, correct? Mm -hmm. And the sales history uh, in some of the companies, they will they have to get it from legacy system, correct? Mm -hmm. Legacy uh, execution system, ECC system. Yeah, legacy yeah. sales even for SAP. So imagine yes, a client yes. implementing SAP for the first time. Yeah. They will be having uh, the sales history in their existing some web application, some kind of legacy system. Mm -hmm. Correct. Before uh, SAP coming, uh, they would be mm -hmm. using some kind of app mainframe yeah. system or something. No? Yes, yes. So, yes. And uh, the we need a sales history, historical data to predict to mm -hmm. force demand. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And is, how do we do that? Um, you need to load them into SAP or how is it? No, so see, I am just giving you overview. See, these topics will come under demand planning. Okay. Okay. We will cover it here. Demand planning. But I will I will just give you an overview how we will do. So what does sales history mean? What do you understand? The billing invoices, the quantity we sold previously, right? Those are our sales. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, okay. So these are our sales. This one sorry. should should be like this space. Okay, yeah, should be like this. So see, we are currently in October, so we have taken sales for till the last month. This month, uh, uh, let's uh, take example of this AC. Okay, AC company. We we, we uh, I mean this is an AC company. They say they sold thirty quantity, forty twenty this 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 till this month. So based on this. We will calculate the forecast and from where the sales history will come. Your main question was from where the sales history right. will come. And what yeah. is the sales history? Is it invoice or what is this? Actually? No, I 
told it in the first chat. So if you have any notebook, uh, you can note it down. Okay, uh, because this term will come every time. Okay, okay. Uh, so see sales history. I put it like this. Right now, I am in APU system. Here, I in APU. Sales history is your input for forecasting, right? And your output is forecast. Correct. Now, from where this sales history is coming? So it will come from your main execution system ECC. This is SD team part. Sales and delivery is their part, right? Mm -hmm. So how they will do? See, actually, this is not in 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 scope of a uh, SCM uh, our our part, but I will show you. Okay, see here they will create one sales order. Okay, reference. If we have any reference, I will show you V A zero three. So see what they are doing. Turn over view detail. Yeah, so this this is the plant. Okay. This plant is selling to this customer, Laya Corporation, Visaka Patnam. This is the customer sold to it means the customer. Okay. This plant is selling to this customer. How what they are selling this product they are selling. See this is ST okay, but uh, since you asked that's why I am I'm explaining. This is not part of APO. So this plant is selling to this customer. Sold to ship to is the customer. What they are selling this material. Okay, now for which month? Uh, I think month is this one only 8 2023. PO date is 8 2023. Okay, so. They are selling and what is the quantity 10. <coughs> so once they complete complete this. Where is that extra? So this is the document. So. <coughs> yeah, so see here we will get the details. This is the sales order number customer order you can say okay this is the customer this is the material how much quantity they are selling 10 kg okay current value 6000 rupees in india i mean indian in indian, indian currency 6000 rupees okay date is this now see what will happen in apo material is this so this is the material in APU. how you will see you will see this quantity 10 10 in uh, volume and in price you will see 6000 rupees did you get now so what is where is the sales order? This is the sales order. Sales order. I mean sales order quantity you will see. Sales order if, if you want to see sales order also, uh, there is one cube. But in planning book, we do not see orders. But these are all uh, customer orders, no? Uh, yes. For example, the customer would have a customer orders. Mm -hmm. and, and these are all uh, tangible customer orders no and for yeah. that we delivered items mm -hmm. and, and uh, the customer will not revert back these are these are real orders no means uh, i they yeah. order 10 items and yeah. uh, they don't back off from that orders no i mean, I mean mm -hmm. to say they don't mm -hmm. uh, back off these are all uh, this is the, yeah this is the sell which you did Sell, sell, yeah, that's a good word. Yeah. This, is sell, yeah. this is a sell we did, but this is yeah. 
this is not uh, that means it's a customer order the moment i say customer order customer order means customer yeah. can order 50 quantities uh, mm -hmm. i want 50 but uh, what, what is the sell we did we really did a sell on that we really yeah, sold so it see here in system you will see uh, this is the customer order then you will see billing and invoices also right okay right. Here. billing and invoices you will see here. this is not a good example but uh, see this is uh, not my system i'm not aware that much but uh, in my organization i saw they this is the customer order then you will see another column in, in document flow only invoices billing and delivery also you will see okay so this is the quantity they requested now it does i mean it's not every time that you will uh, deliver the same quantity which they asked okay it depends on your stock and everything you might you might uh, deliver eight pieces only eight quantity eight kg okay you might deliver uh, 10 kg whatever they ask you deliver that so it depends on the stock so that is what sd team will look so after this standard order your customer order sales order there will be delivery plus billing tab invoice invoice tab okay so there you will get the final value so from Correct. here only so invoice is the right tangible object for us no to consider yeah. for sales issue. invoice yeah yeah so i used to call it invoice or billing only yeah building or you, invoice. yeah Instead if of... you if you observe i used to call this invoice or billing only the sales history Part. okay yes yeah, sales history the moment you say sales history it is all about invoices and billing correct yeah what quantity you sold previously? yeah that is quantity that will be there in the invoice invoice yes yes okay that is sales history okay not the customer so, order no? yeah not the customer order the invoices and billing which you did based on that customer order so that is the input okay got it yeah okay so from where it will uh, these data will come from here you can see these data from here okay it will appear it here based on this product in apo you will see it here see i have a sales forecast okay no not not sales forecast. no 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 this is forecasting here we don't have sales issue okay let me open any other data yeah this one okay here you will see this is also not a good example i mean someone created yeah but still yeah you can consider this one okay so here you will see the sales his, uh, history okay in this screen it will appear once you load any product let me load something here to product uh, so this way you can load okay you have to mention your product here okay you can mention your location also see we have selections here just mention your product and location and once you load it will show the results here okay against this key figure this is the history key figure sales history what it will show you it will show the billing and invoice quantity which you did for this customer order let's say we did 10 kg only so it once you load this product material here this 10 core 10 quantity for this uh, this is september this is august okay so in this august column so we have to go a little back here you will see okay in month 8 2023 you will see that quantity in apo R clear We will go through it in detail how this data is coming what steps we need to execute all this comes under this bw integration with apo okay, here 
it will come here. The promotions are manually entered. No, we are not getting from ECC. No. As per my experience, I saw we entered it in AP only. Okay, so this way we will receive the sales sales uh, that sales history, the invoice and billing data from ECC to your planning book. It is not something we will create there and we will get it. We have to do these all these steps. Explain about this all these uh, steps. No, 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 no. That is part of demand planning. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, yeah. yeah that, those uh, diagram you will explain in demand planning. Yes, no? this yes, diagram. yes, yes. Yeah. Demand planning is, I, as I told you, it's very technical and a little vast. Okay, it will take the most most of our time. Demand planning will take only. OK, I'm not even sure um, <laughs> we complete demand planning in 20 hours or so or not. So, but we will see. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. OK, so uh, this planning part after that, this execution part, which is your ECC system buy. And sell buy and sell. This will be look after this ST team sales and distribution team. OK, make PP teamwork production planning. Receive and deliver. This is this also come under no no see by this comes under your sourcing. By means sourcing. Okay, so this comes under your uh, mm. Now receive and deliver and sell these two comes under st. Make make it means uh, this manufacturing part. So PP team will look after. Monitoring. So sell and del uh, receive will come under what? Both in in uh, st sales and distribution. OK, order management, sales and distribution. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Order management, yes. OK, OK, yeah, so uh, these two under SG and uh, this mo monitoring or you can say the costing part, the billing part, it will be taken care via this FICO finance and controlling. OK, so these all business processes and you can see we have different different modules in SAP which will take care of each of these modules. OK, again, I, I am con concluding it here. So the planning component is to predict the demand and for your supply part. Then you have your execution part. It will help you uh, you to produce and deliver deliver the goods. OK, now. Uh, this uh, along with that we have to look after. Uh, there should be some collaboration with uh, your customer suppliers, right? So for that also, there is a separate module in SNP, something we call SNC, Supply Network Collaboration. Okay. To collaborate between uh, your vendors, suppliers, customers, all. There is a separate module, okay, but that is not widely used. Everything they used to take care in under this sales, sales and distribution module only. Or in MM. Okay, so this is the overall business flow. Okay, so uh, with this hour, the overview of the supply chain management we covered. Now let's go through the SAP. How we do the, all those things in SAP. Uh, it it is clear till now, or if you have any doubt. Yes, yes, clear. Okay, so now let's go through it quickly. Uh, this SAP, uh, we will give see the definition and what we are doing, and then we will. What else we have left? Then we will go in system, and then we will see the overview of APO. Okay, so these all uh, slides I added. See SAP is a software okay which we use for our business processes and sap why we use sap because it is the i mean it is the most user friendly and developed software uh, for business operations and relationships we use and it is leader in the market that's why <coughs> sap is widely used compared to other softwares sap provide much more functionality 
uh, in terms of all business processes. So that's why uh, it is leading the market. So this, I think 77%, it is before COVID era. Before COVID, they have 77% of market share. Now, I think it increased. 88, uh, and in future also, it will increase more. So these are the areas. Let me maximize it. So these are the areas, the applications where uh, SAP is uh, where <coughs> SAP is using or in industry sectors. You can see in IT sector. Uh, I mean, among all, uh, out of hundred percent IT sector, they are using fourteen uh, for around fifteen percent. Okay, and manufacturing manufacturing sector, thirty three percent. Okay, so this way, SAP has applications in multiple indus industries. Uh, correct uh, in healthcare, manufacturing, logistic, educations also ph pharma industry. So in all these sectors, we are yeah, using SAP. Manufacturing is the highest. No? Come again. Manufacturing is the highest. Yeah, yeah, manufacturing yes. Most of this in most of the, I mean, uh, as per my experience, uh, my first project was manufacturing. So it was pipe manufacturing. So in Europe, mostly in Europe region, you will see all manufacturing industries. They are using SAP. Okay, because it, it helps to integrate all, all their processes. And for manufacturing, as I said, this our PPDS module. Okay. PPDS and that PP module, QA module, they use <coughs> widely. They use all those modules. And PPE, if you if you are aware, we don't have any any similar type of modules in any other uh, like PPDS. Okay, that is a separate tool for planning and detail scheduling. You will not find that type of module in in any other other uh, uh, other softwares. Like in JD AdWords or MP, you will not find. In Kinaxis also, you will not find that PPDS. Okay, so that's why it is widely widely used in manufacturing center because it will help you to to maintain your resources, to schedule all your orders. It, it the GUI is much much better compared to any other tools. Like for scheduling, we have multiple tools: Camelot, Chronot. These are the tools, but it will not provide all those functionality. Okay, so far also we have. That is third party tool. You can say that is not under SAP. <laughs> okay, so about SAP, a, I think it was started in 1970 something, 1972 or 71. Uh, uh, its organization is in headquarters is in Germany. Okay, so there they started. And yeah, this is about SAP and uh, it contains multiple modules. Okay, ECC, CRM, SRM. But, so we will see it later in the in next slides. Okay, I think here here we will see in business suit we will have this. But uh, before that, you can see SAP offers solution across wide wide range of areas such as enterprise resource planning, finance customer relationship management and customer ex experience, network spend, digital supply chain, HR and people. So for all these business processes or for all these areas, we have separate separate SAP modules. Okay, a few of them I know for this ERP and finance, we have this SAP ECC. For CRM, we have SAP CRM. For network and spend management, I think uh, SRM, I think. Uh, sub supply relationship management some some module yes sir okay digital supply chain uh, we have this our supply chain module okay hr for S hr and people engagement they have sap hcm or sap hr both for other i am not aware that much benefits of using sap software okay so uh, it is I mean, you can mold SAP system as per your requirement. 
it provide you that customization functionality so if you want if you want to include any enhancement if you want to do any changes in system as per your business requirement sap will provide you 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 that functionality okay customize solution it means that one customized solution okay you can customize your requirement and then it will uh, it will be integrated in in your sap system innovative as i said uh, sap they are spending almost 30 to 40% of their revenue in r and d so they keep on keep on doing some, keep on doing the updates okay so innovation is part of of, of uh, this sap every year they release some new updates every year or in in two they release some updates okay flexible and secure yeah then data analysis and reporting so for this one also we have one module sap bibw for this data analysis and reporting purpose we will see that part maintain consistent operations okay so these all comes under your sap these all functionalities sap provide to you so see uh, this is sap business suite uh, under sap they almost divide uh, their um, modules under this category sap ecc sap crm sap srm sap scm and plm so uh, sap ecc this is your erp central component main and important critical business processes and core business processes we perform here okay ppst fi um, uh, uh, this mm all will fall under this sap ecc sap crm is required for uh, uh, this is customer relationship management okay so this is required for your uh, marketing sales services with the customer sap srm uh, both are analogous so sap srm it is see this is related to your customer now this is related to your supplier okay so this is supplier relationship management and this is used uh, used for um, you can say assessment of how your supplier is performing if he is capable and uh, he capable to match your requirements if <coughs> if uh, if he if the supplier is functioning properly or not if he is supplying goods at right time or not okay now this come uh, the sap scm part which we will we will discuss in our session okay so uh, the supply chain management module of sap it deals with the procurement operation logistic planning all those uh, business processes uh, we have another module um, this with plm uh, product life cycle management something yeah product life cycle management so this is used for managing the product life cycle now see here we have one separate module but product life cycle management is part of our demand planning also okay we will learn product life cycle management in our demand planning module what is sap scm supply chain management what does it contain supply chain scm sap scm all it contains all this record the this is a course we are discussing okay good and product life cycle management it contains all the products uh, finished products semi finished products all that yes product life cycle management is what you are uh, use you, you, you it is used for managing the life cycle of that product it means the phases introduction design launch manufacturing uh -huh. okay so uh, this we will learn in our product life cycle part here all this fall under demand planning only here life cycle management okay now functional technical modules i already explained in our first or second session i think uh, basis is the technical module and functional module we uh, we have these okay Hey, Rahul, sorry for that. Yeah, I'm back. No, no, it's okay. Yeah. So, 
okay so we we are okay so functional technical modules i think we discussed in our previous class right functional module it contains your these modules and technical uh, while setting up the system these modules we needed about basis grc okay so uh, are you, you remember or shall i explain again Yeah, you should work function. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah. Okay. So it's it, it, it's part of ECC and SCM, no? Functional modules, mostly. Functional module. This APO is part of SCM. E SCM. This BW is part of reporting. Reporting. This EW is also is EW all EWM also comes under SCM only. PP is for production planning. It will fall under ECC. MM fall under ECC. SD fall under ECC. Okay. But all these are functional modules. We have multi, uh, we have other functional modules also, like this. Uh, we discussed HCM, this HR. That is also a functional module. Here. Okay, this CRM, it is also a functional module. Wherever you need to interact with business, with your customer, with your vendor, with your supplier, that will fall under a functional. Okay. In case of technical modules, there is not that much business uh, uh, interaction needed. Okay. Technical people, they will interact with functional people. Means see, a business. Uh, okay. So let's take uh, example of demand planning. Business said that okay, in our system we want to add this functionality. Okay. As per our requirement, as per our uh, business. We want this extra functionality, which is not currently available in SAP. So business, they will not reach out to technical people directly. They will reach out to you. Now it is your task. It is the task of functional team to interact with uh, with business, understand their requirement, and then explain that requirement to technical team. Okay, that this is extra functionality. This is extra customization, development, or enhancement we need in system to achieve that requirement. Okay, you have to present that functional uh, aspect. You have to uh, explain the requirement, and based on your requirement, the technical team they will do that uh, addition, customization in system. Okay, technical team they will not directly uh, contact with business. Clear? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here, see, communication is uh, uh, is a major thing here in in case of functional. <laughs> Okay, because see, I you will see many people in my organization only. Uh, they what they used to do earlier before 2017-18. Only MBA graduates they they used to get this module. Okay, and the engineering graduate like IT CSE they used to get this ABAP and basis. Okay. Okay. But now, since the uh, demand increases, the talent pool increases. That's why uh, even this um, engineering graduates they are also getting these functional modules now. Okay. Because both my, uh, I mean, European market, uh, yeah. American market, they are reaching out. Yeah, SAP is uh, number one uh, ERP job jobs no in SAP, and. Uh, SAP. I think there are some uh, other years like Oracle we have. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, right, right. I'm hearing now, now Infer, Infer, uh, you heard about Infer M3 and all no. that. No, no. So, yeah. uh, Infer, I'm not aware, Oracle, I'm aware. So that's why I said. <laughs> 77% of your market is uh, under SAP. Okay. Okay, and in, in that is before COVID, so I don't have the latest data in 2023. So I think it is it is around 80 percent. Is SAP eats 80 percent of market share? Okay, and in less in other 20 percent, you have Oracle, OMP, OM, O3, JD AdWords, can access uh, other tools. Uh -huh. People see. It is not like uh, uh, like the EU. Uh, no, I mean, Kinexis we can also implement. 
if your budget it is less you can implement kinexis but it will not give you all those functionality which sap is providing okay 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 omp also omp is also cheaper it will it will give you i mean it will provide you few uh, few functionalities but compared to sap i mean uh, there is no one uh, who can challenge sap okay and in future also it will eat all the market share oh is it okay okay future it will eat because all see it is uh, see who who will grow you tell me who will grow who will keep doing research and development on their products yes. correct 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 who will understand the market requirement they it's not like see sap i think it started with two two three modules only they started with pp st and mm i think now they keep on increasing the modules as per the requirement they keep on increasing mm -hmm. okay they they introduce data for data analytics also we have one module okay so we have multiple modules and and in future for hr also as i said for hr also they introduce one module for everything i mean for all business processes they check the market they see the requirement and then they if they feel that okay it will if it will help us it will help to grow market as well as the organization then they introduce they add that module in sap we will find hundreds of modules where does the qa folks come here you said functional and technical people no qa they do any qa in sap quality assurance yeah testing quality assurance they uh -huh. qm qm pp qm we said pp qm after production i included one step here if you remember i was no, no, testing I qa testing yeah qa testing yeah. you know that is from a manufacturing side no i'm talking about Man test uh, Uh, finding defects, logging defects, uh, people look you like. Uh, okay, 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 okay. No, no, okay, no, no, no. no. I got uh, you. You mean like while testing to log Correct. those defects, right? Yeah. Uh, so for the, uh, no, the testers, no. do we have testers in SAP? We have testers. I mean, we have tester. But see what happened here in our organization. They have separate tool for uh, this testing purpose. For, for formal testing, they have separate tool. We call Proton. Okay, mm -hmm. it was life cycle management uh, tool uh, provided by HP. Okay, so there we while doing testing in SAP system, we used to defect our logs. If and then um, I mean when, then we work on that defect. So who will be who will be testing SAP configurations? Is it uh, all if other? If it is related, to, if it is related to APO, okay, then we have to test. for uh, this testing purpose also i mean uh, see we have these modules right you, in these modules you will see dp tester also okay who has very limited knowledge they i mean they are just for testing they don't know how to do configuration and all so for that apo tester also i mean if you have less knowledge okay you can become a tester for that but if you have more knowledge they will put you in implementation team okay it depends on on everything it depends on your package it depends on your billing how much uh, they are charging for you if they are charging there let's a, say there is a role uh, the tester role is there first of all uh, in sap yes yes. <laughs> yes yes for all modules there is tester role here but why to go in i mean testing that is not something in which you will correct you will grow you will yeah. not grow there yeah. correct you will not grow there but i'm just asking the question uh, means uh, uh, just understand different roles there mm -hmm. yeah 